What were the worst two minutes of your life? I was 16 and there we were, four boys swimming together. We were all the same age at what we knew as the bottomless lake. 10 feet offshore you could sink or swim down until you got scared and thought it was truly bottomless. It was about a quarter mile wide. One of the boys in our party had the bright idea to swim across it. As a test of our bravery, I didn't want to do it. But peer pressure is a heck of a thing for a 16 year old boy. I had a bad feeling and soon I would know why. Two of my friends started out and I followed with my friend. We were probably about 15 to 20 feet apart. My partner was the best athlete of us all so I felt good about that part. In case I got in trouble. I wasn't a great swimmer and water wasn't my thing. But I would still swim. The two ahead of us are cutting out at a pretty fast pace. I said to my buddy let's just make it across and not race like them. He agreed, and I think he was thankful that I suggested it. Off we went. My heart was pounding but I remembered my dad's advice on being scared. Keep your breathing calm. I concentrated on keeping my breathing calm. I decided to do a kind of side stroke because I found that to be easiest. My partner was doing a regular stroke. All was well. But somehow, I got ahead of my partner by about 4 or 5 feet. All of the sudden he shrieked my name in cold fear. I stopped swimming, turned around and looked at him. He was pale white, eyes bugged out in terror. I asked him what was wrong. My leg is cramping. I paddled towards him and offered an untruthful consolation. We're almost finished I said side stroke like me he did it for a few feet but shrieked again. My other leg is cramping now. I looked into his eyes and I felt my heart go cold. We were in a bottomless lake with an eighth of a mile left to swim. He started clawing at me, grabbing hold of me with incredible strength. He was trying to pull me under to save himself. I managed to dive down under him to get away and surfaced about five to seven feet away from him. He screamed save me, save me. With all my might, I yelled at the two boys ahead of us. They were too far ahead and couldn't hear. My partner was barely treading. In my mind a small headline in a local newspaper read two teenagers drown in lake. I knew we were in trouble. I swam away from him for a couple feet, but he continued to cry in fear. My legs are cramping. I can't move my legs. I didn't know what to do, but I told myself I wouldn't die. I calmed my breathing. I told myself to be brave and I stayed with him for a few seconds. Those seconds in which I stayed with him felt like ages. His face was beat red. His eyes were swollen and bugged, and then he cried my stomach. He doubled over in a fetal position. I was in disbelief as I watched him start to sink under the water. He sank about three feet, before I pulled him up by his belt. I somehow rolled him on his back but he started clawing at my face. I hit him as hard as I could in the nose and screamed at him to stop. He did. And he started crying again and bleeding from the nose. I kept yelling at him to shut up. I rolled him on his back, wrapped my arm around his waist and started side stroking toward shore. The shore seemed miles away. His face was next to my ear. I could hear him breathing fast and could feel him panicking. I focused on my hand cutting through the water. I held him with my right arm and swam with my left. I just kept watching my breath. I had a hold on his right hip belt loop and swam. When I had the nerve and strength I yelled for the other boys. They had made it, but were so exhausted that they were laying spread eagle on the shore and weren't paying attention to the lake. I kept swimming, focusing on my breathing, and thinking about the newspaper. I knew he would be much better off with me. It was up to me to save us both. The shore was becoming ever nearer. We got closer and closer and he started laughing hysterically in my ear. He cheerily said we're going to make it, we're going to make it. I wasn't so sure, my right calf tightened up, my toes went numb, I had a terrible revelation, I was cramping too, I told him to try to float and use his arms, briefly, I let go to switch my arms, he freaked out, he panicked, he was splashing and slapping and clawing, I managed to get around him and wrap my left arm around his waist, I started side stroking again, and calmed my breathing, I felt my strength come back, I became more optimistic, we were now only about 25 feet from shore, luckily, the boys on the beach saw us, they swam towards us swiftly, just as they reached us my right thigh went into a full cramp, as I stretched my leg out and as they grabbed my buddy from me, I realized I could touch the bottom, we made it, my buddy was still crying as we reached shore, it was my first near death experience, a county utility truck drove up to us, the driver, an old man, rolled down his window and said you boys better not be swimming around in that lake, it's not safe out here, we traveled home quietly, we were tired and terrified, I had nightmares for weeks, in my dreams I'd see him slip underwater and I would swim away, every now and then, late at night the memory comes to me and I shudder, that was over 40 years ago and it still seems like yesterday, the friend that I saved died on a motorcycle about 10 years later, but prior to that he would introduce me to people as the guy who saved his life, I got to shore and started crying too, the four of us sat there in silence for a while, realizing how stupid we had been and how close to death we had just come, that was terrifying, 